This is 8.6 systems of linear inequalities. We're going to use strands MA912, AR9.4, and 9.6. We're going to solve systems of linear inequalities in two variables and use systems of linear inequalities to model and solve real life problems. So in example one, it says sketch the graph of the system of linear inequalities. So they gave us a system 2x minus y less than or equal to 5 and x plus 2y greater than or equal to 2. So remembering back from our module 2 and module 1 stuff with inequalities, if you see the less than equal sign, it means it's inclusive. The solutions are inclusive. If there is no line, then it's exclusive. So we have two equations. So you're going to number them 1 and 2. You're going to solve each of them individually for y equals mx plus b, like if you're doing y equals mx plus b. So we are now going to subtract the 2x over. We get negative y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 5. And then you're going to divide by a negative 1. When you divide by that negative 1, it's going to change the direction of your inequality. So it becomes y is greater than or equal to two negatives, make a positive 2x, positive and negative is a negative 5. So there's our first equation. Your second equation, again, you start out with your original. 2x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 2. You're going to subtract x this time. So you get 2y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 2. And then you're going to divide everything by 2. In this one, we don't divide by a negative. So we're not changing the direction. So it says y greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 1. So we have our two equations, two unknowns. So the first graph says it's starting at negative 5. So the b is negative 5. And our slope, think of 2 over 1. So it's going to go 2 over 1. So you're going to go up 2 to the right one. So you're going to put a dot at negative 5. And the slope says it's rising 2, going once. So we're rising 2, going once over. And then we're going to sketch our line in. And because it's a greater than equal to, we have the line. It means it's a solid line going through those two points. Make sure you draw arrows on the ends. The second one says it starts at positive one. So our B is positive one and our M is negative one half, which means I go down one to the right two. So from positive one, I'm gonna go down one to the right two, put a dot, sketch your line in to do your pieces. The last part is you're sketching to figure out where are our ordered possibilities that are solutions for it. So notice that none of the graph lines went through the origin, so you're going to test 0, 0. So you're starting with the first equation, y grand equals to 2x minus 5, and you're going to replace y and x with 0. So it's saying 0 is bigger than or equal to negative 5. That is a true statement. So on the red line, you are shading above the line. Then they want you to try the second equation. So we have y greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 1. And again, you're replacing with 0. 0 bigger than or equal to negative 1 half x times 0 plus 1. They're saying that 0 is greater than or equal to 1. And that is a false statement. So in this instance, the purple line, zero, zero is below it, so I need to shade above it. So this checkered pattern where the two colors are overlapping is where your solutions are going to be. Example two wants us to sketch the graph of the system of linear inequalities. So the system says y is less than four and y is greater than one. First thing I notice, it says a less than and a greater than, there is no lines, which means they are not including the values. So we are going to be using dashed lines in this instance. So it says y to four. So I go to four on the y line, sketch your line in, but it needs to be a cut graph. Put arrows on the end. You go to positive one on the y line as well. Again, you're going to sketch a graph, and it's going to be a cut graph. 
So then they want us to say, it says on the first one that all the values of Y are less than four. So it means I have to shade down. So I'm shading down below the four. The other one says Y is greater than one. It means you are shading all the values above one. So we are shading above the one. So my solutions are in between the two lines. Example three says, sketch the graph of the system of linear inequalities and label the vertices. So notice that this system has actually three equations, X minus Y less than two, X greater than negative two, Y less than or equal to three, which because it has three and they're saying the word vertices, we have a three-sided figure that forms when they cross each other. So you're gonna label them one, two, and three. We're gonna work with number one first. So it says X minus Y is less than two. I know we are going to be a dashed line because there is no inequality with a line. You're gonna subtract X over. So you get negative Y is less than negative X plus two. You're gonna divide by negative one and in doing so it changes the direction. So Y is now greater than positive X minus two. So there's our equation for the first one. The equation for the second one says X is greater than negative two, which means there is no line. So again, I am going to be a dashed line. There is nothing to solve. So it's saying all the values of X have to be bigger than two, negative two. Then the third one says Y is less than or equal to three. I have nothing to solve. But now in this one, it says less than or equal to, which means this is going to be a solid line for it. So the first one, we're gonna start at negative two on the x-axis. It's gonna rise, so we have a b of negative two and the m is one over one, so it means up one to the right one. So it went up one to the right one. And because we're no line, we are a dashed line for it. or arrows in. The second equation says X is less than negative two, which means we have a vertical line at negative two on the X axis. And then there is no line, so we are dashed again, going straight up and down, running parallel to the Y line. The third one says Y is greater than or equal to three which means we have a dot at positive three. And then it's saying it's a solid line. So we have it going horizontally, running parallel to the X axis. So we have our two, we have our three graphs. Let me extend this line a little bit. So we see our points of our intersection. So we have a point of intersection here. There's a vertice here. There's a vertice here, there's a vertice here. There's our triangle. Now we need to do our shading. So the red line did not go through the origin. If I plug in zero, zero is bigger than negative two. That is a true statement, which means I am shading above the line. Because we plug, we did y greater than x minus two and I plugged in zero. This is why I did this. So zero is bigger than negative two and that is true. Remember, yes side, no side. The next one says X is bigger than negative two. So if I plug in zero, is zero bigger than negative two? That is a true statement. Here's negative two. And we're shading, it says all the values of X have to be bigger than negative two. So we're shading to the right. The last one says Y is less than or equal to three. So it says all the values of Y have to be smaller than three because if I plug in zero, zero is smaller than three. That is also a true statement. Here's my Y line and smaller than three means I'm shading down. So here are our points of intersection, which are known as our vertices. And this region here that forms a triangle is your solution points for all three parts of your system.